Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Bloodborne. Today we're continuing on to explore the Cathedral Ward here, or wherever this area might be. Um, I have gone back up here to where this guy is shooting at me. Um, I killed a couple of these enemies. Just trying to clear some room so I can start the episode. Uh, the new weapon hits pretty dang hard. Well, not new weapon, but the upgrades on it. Pretty happy about that. I have to clear out a few of these enemies, both to see if they drop anything interesting, and just to make the area a bit more safe for myself. Good amount of bombs. Good amount of dodge. Oh, oh, to dodge that. Heal. Kind of combo attack you might try and pull on. There we go. Alright, enemy down. Bloodstone shard. Oh, I forgot about this dog. Well, I'm glad he waited to engage on me. Thank you, dog. Silver bullets. We do have two giant dudes out here, but we also have the scythe wielder up here. I don't want to take him out. Just kind of out of my own curiosity to see if he drops anything. Drop down. Be perfect for victimizing with the mace. And he would. Alright. TP. On to the axe guys. So let's try to get one of their attention. Not seem at all interested. Hello. Ooh. I half expected him to demolish all these tombstones. I still suspect these guys are gonna have one. One attack they rarely use. It charges forward really far. It smashes really hard. I know I can just like counterattack, but it just feels so wrong. Where's the other one? Not coming over here, is he? That would be really bad news. Okay, nope, it was just the one stomping a lot. Three blood vials. Gosh. What a treat. Okay. Big area. Whoa! Alright, he stopped me a lot sooner than the other one would have. Keep beating him up. He did a good chunk of his HP off with all those hits. Bloodstone shard, awesome. Always happy to get those. Okay. Anything interesting over here? You have an item. Pick up through the fence there. That's nice. Don't have to go through. Peep. What this thing? The last time there was some kind of weird sound in here, as I was collecting these madman's knowledge. Do you remember that? Is that it? Something over here? Like, uh... Like the other area? Is there something invisible or something? Or was I just hearing things? Hmm. I don't quite remember where I... Where I felt it or saw it or heard it last time. You hear something roaring over there. That's very, very freaky. Let's try going the way that doesn't have something terrifying roaring in it. Alright, so we got one of these guys here. Oh, okay. He had a gun. And he, he won that fight very handedly, I must say. Um, yeah. That was brutal. I did not expect to just get torched like that. I charged up a big attack thinking he was going to come in for his little little staff poke. Didn't work that way. So let's zoom on back. I do like to kind of skip the enemies once I've killed them once. Um, but these guys are sometimes pretty good farming right now. 
for blood vials. Feels like their drop chance is pretty high. Um, these guys drop a lot of bullets too, which I don't have a great gun right now, but we might later on. We should go back this way first. I was gonna take the other path and get my um bunch of McCollums. Uh, I just go adventuring for treasure, but I should go back and get my blood echoes from, from this direction. I if that enemy absorbed them. Nope, he didn't. Yeah, take that. Dirt. And then bullets. Alright. Well, torch there. Got the monocular. One hand lantern. Yep. That seems good. Where we got that item we cheated for. Over here? Can we open it? Oh, this is the thing. Oh, okay. We don't need to buy that thing then. Because I'm thinking this is the symbol door, right? Oh. Oh, okay. It did open. Because this should lead down to where that guy patrols up. Right? Yeah, there's the other gate right there. Okay, cool. Okay, so we don't need that thing. Unless it's for a different door. Might not be for this one. But it sounded like it was for this one. Alright, do not have a uh, torch flame thing, so I should find with that guy. Ah, bird! Good cold blood. Didn't see the bird. Uh -huh. But thankfully, he was way too slow. Okay. Usually, oh. I usually kind of like freak out and try to warn others. Nice that you can recover HP even after they're dead as long as you keep swinging. Or like their echo. Use their body into yours. Poison time. They don't hear any. Ooh, ooh, it's not an enemy. Okay. I thought that was an enemy. How was that though? Your voices. Uh, let's go over here first, I guess. There's a lantern. Usually that red lantern means there's somebody here. Oh my, what a cool event. But I take it over the sense of blood and beasts any day. What is it then? I'm off during hunts, so if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. If that doesn't do it, come back in the morning, darling. <laughs> Some kind of service offerer. Oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, right? Might you know the safe place? The night is long, and a very little of your sense left. Gee, there must be some nice place to run off to. There is. There is Odin Chapel. Oh, thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll. <laughs> hey, yeah, cool. Got a new friend. Oh, hello. It's you. You're not from around here, are you? For an outsider who's come to join the hunt, what a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I'll think you're a beast. And step away from my castle. Oh, dude, no need to be so hostile. Oh, enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I certainly don't, to be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beef, son. Yeah, I feel the same way. I want him. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. So what? Well, her sort probably just fixed him to feed some of your coin. <laughs> I wonder if this guy won't go because I told her. All right. What crafty lies does the outsider have today? Well, you think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. Hmm. Alright. What? Still prone on folks with your book of lies? Yeah, fine. Come on, show me what you got. <laughs> 
I wonder if I talk to him again. What? And I tell him, uh. What a phrase. Yeah, I knew you'd back off. Yeah, an outsider you may be, but at least you know when you're bestie. <laughs> I wonder if he'll go there at all. It's interesting that he's like all skeptical. I wonder if he would have went if I didn't tell her. I didn't realize that there was two people there. Okay, well, let's. Ah! <laughs> this game is freaking me out. Like, a lot of these things are just... I knew there was going to be an enemy, and I was like, wait, where's the enemy? But... Oh my gosh. Okay. Got something in his hand. He's got friends, too. Oh my gosh. I hate when they squish you. Okay, so you got that one slowly wandering towards me. Oh, you can actually see me here. slowly coming. Something banging around. I don't really want to just like fight you. Yeah, see, I knew there was another one. So I didn't want to just run out there and fight him. Alright, so let's talk to this loot. Hello, loot. Let's talk to this person. Doesn't sound too sane. Alright, yep, they're just grateful for the church. Sounds good. Bullets. There's some banging coming on this door. Oh. <laughs> he sounds drunk or something. Praise you. Praise the old damn church. And then the best of luck out to Best luck of all. I wonder if he's slowly going insane or something. Sounds like hitting something. Hmm. Interesting. Poison knives. Okay, we got dude with a gun. Who else is gonna be up here? Who else is gonna be hiding around to ambush me here? You know, it's never just one guy. Never ever just one guy. Yep, see, here's a whole bunch of guys. Oh. There starts the combo. Half your HP just gone. Then you gotta run around. Establish a safer position. And bait him, maybe. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you guys. Alright, try again. Two down. Excellent. There we go. Three down. And a bloodstone shard. Excellent. Dodge that shot. Making some serious progress here. Oh, another axe wielder. I can hear him. Take him out because he's serious business. Damn. This guy's in hurt. Oh, someone else. Get up there. Oh, it's one of those weird things. Oh, that's a bird, okay. Thought that was the dude. I was like, what the heck kind of sound are you making, dude? Got like jump attacks. Oh my gosh, this game. Two blood vials. Let's continue on through, I suppose. That seems to be the only real option I have. 
I have no idea where these areas are leading, but it's freaking me right out. Top of the tower here. What are you hanging out? Camping? Gotta yeah. get down there somehow. Enemies hiding out in here. This guy be suspicious of every corner now. Every little nook and cranny. And there's a ladder there that I can just descend, so I don't have to kick it down. View notes. A watchman of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password. Secret adage of the Grand Cathedral. Watchman Bergenworth guards the gate with a password. Sacred adage and interest. What's the sacred adage? The Grand Cathedral. So there's just like a spot you can drop down to. Be an invisible wall there. Oh yeah, there. Oh no, I guess you just fall down. Okay. But why is that even there then? All right, let's find out. I'm kind of suspicious. Curious. Why this is here. Alright, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Weird. Weird indeed. Just flavor, I guess. Okay, we're like on the other side of that area now. So that's where we would come from going up the stairs by those other guys, because that's the patrol. There's the dude with the scythe. There's the dude with the gun. Trying to walk towards me right now. The jerk. Nothing going on over there. Is this just like alternate path? Am I not gonna find anything? There's like a door there, but there's like somewhere I can go. Like that was just kind of like a side adventure, I guess. But then how do I get back to that dude with the tentacles? I guess I can go back up the tower. I don't have to jump down. Oh, I guess you could jump down maybe from... No? I'm thinking from where that dude with the gun is onto the top of there. Oh, well, that doesn't make sense. But I did learn the secret of the password. So maybe that's important. Maybe that was the main advantage of going this way. Hmm. Check one more time. There's nothing I might have missed here. Like an obvious second path or something because it's like there's dudes up there and there's a pathway from up there to down here oh I bet I can just go fight that if I take a different okay I think I'm starting to understand now that thing makes some really freaky noises though okay so if we go up here should be able it's gonna be a bit dangerous of course but we should be able to jump down and take a right. Pop a blood vial just to be safe. Wait, is there something I could... Oh, there's another ladder. Right... Oh, there is a ladder right here. Oh, well, I just feel kind of silly now. There was a ladder there the whole time. Okay, well, we should be able to just run, 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 run. I'm trying to avoid some of these enemies, but not all of them. And this should be where a tentacle man is. Yeah, there he is. Oh, would you look at what the? Oh my god, he just like ate me. Now he's like really powered up. He might like that. Shaman bone blade. Oh, is that a weapon? Hold up. It is not. Item. Flash foes to make them lose sense of their direction. Oh, it's like a usable item. Weird. Twin blood shards. Always happy to see those. Trap? No, not trap. Shining coins. Awesome. Anything through here? Here. Or banging. I'm hearing that guy in his house still banging around. This looks like a trap for sure. The old right 
Oh, square. <laughs> right stick click. A bunch of times. Oh, that's suspicious. Okay. Tempering blood gemstone. Happy to see that. Antidote. Not sure if I'm happy to see that. That usually means you're going to want to use it. Far so good. Nothing too suspicious at all. There's a big door though. Hmm. Alright, we'll open it. I guess I don't know the password. Okay, so need to learn the sacred adage, the Grand Cathedral. I thought it might be that thing about the guy and the cosmos are one and the same or whatever. But we don't just don't know the password. So where do we go to learn the password? Do we even care to learn the password? That's another question. I wonder if I can, like, see into that guy's house or something. Because I can hear him beating something, but it's like, is he beating his head against the wall? Is he killed someone and he's, like, just repeatedly beating their corpse? Like, what is he... What is he doing? Making some fortifications in his home? Barricading things? All kinds of explanations, but... Oh, it could just be him stomping around. No, I don't think that was it. Not sure, though. Okay, well. So yeah, we've been up here, been over there. Need to find the password. We know what the password is. Um, or like, well, like what it is, but not the password itself. Um, we've gone this way. Have we gone this way? Yes, we have. This is the path we opened already gone down this road that led to where we were so that I can consider to be fully explored Are there any other pathways over here no hey. whoa so I think the next thing to do then would be to run this way is that right make sure nothing's following me far so good Oh, whoops, did I just summon somebody? I think I might have just summoned... Old Hunter? Oh, whoops, what did I do? Old Hunter Henry Ed. Oh, I accidentally... This is the help of an NPC, it appears. Let's make that stop. I didn't mean to do that. Thank you, Henriette. Oh. Alright, so we got enemies and items. Well, two shot on that guy. Nice and easy. Let's go up here. Forgetting those little red messengers or the. Okay, so this is just like an alternate pathway up here. Ambush the scythe guy. Ha ha ha. Plunging attack those guys if I wanted to as well, but nah. Okay, well, let's try and make some progress then. Oh man, I have a whole bunch of uh, echoes again. Try going left this time and see if we run into anything different. Maybe some items. Like this one. Bloodshot eyeball. Okay. Oh yeah, I did find a different item earlier that I wanted to show you guys. Be sure I'm safe first. Be getting attacked here, so let's look. So I got this blue elixir. Liquid makes liquid medicine that makes still bodies undetectable. So it says it's like a dubious liquid that or anesthetic that numbs the brain. Um, but if you stand still while taking the medicine, 
it uh, dilutes your presence, which is kind of interesting. So you can like kind of stealth, I guess. Um, and we got a eyeball, some kind bloodshot eyeball. Used in a holy chalice ritual. Oh, okay. An exquisite eyeball removed quickly after death, or perhaps even before. Used to unlock the seal of old labyrinth hinter. Okay, that's probably like a more in-depth, challenging later on one, I would guess. We got three more bold hunters marks. Let's see what lays lies in this direction. Another place I can go adventuring. I think it might be a whole new zone, honestly. A bunch of graves here. Kind of, it looks like a dog, but it also looks a little bit more strange. That might have been a lantern I could light. A forest. A little woods. Enemies everywhere. Oh, already. Oh, whatever that thing that was walking away to come back, though. Well, you know what? Looks like a regular enemy. Did we just, like, sprint through here? Like, some dudes everywhere. Hmm. We do have our bold hunter's marks ready. Oh! Okay, what are you? Came back. You are some kind of dog thing, but you are, like, a lot more terrifying. I like that. Weapons growing out of your face. Spikes on your back. Weapons are... Oh my god, terrifying. Alright, well, let's go attack this guy now. He's all alone. He's not all alone, actually. There's another dog and another ranged guy. Bloodstone shard from the doggo, though. Oh, is that another one? Alright, so they all had one. Okay, good to know. Heal up. We are exploring. Might as well, now that we've killed a few things. Whoa, hello. There are a bunch of those gunners around. Oh, and there's a dude with two dogs, it looks like. Hmm, it's gonna be tough. Kinda hoping for the best right there. Worked out. Let's go try it. Nice. Okay. Crush him before he gets a chance to do anything. Hey, we're making some progress here. Gotta be ready to pour it out, though. Is this gonna be a boss? Alright, well, we're ready to pour it out if it is. That might just chicken right out. No, it doesn't look like this is a boss. M. Emwick Charnel. There's some different enemies here. Dude dancing around the middle down there. Like a few of them, I guess. Oh yeah, there's like a bunch of them having like kind of like ritual or something. They're like dancing around a pile of graves. Interesting. Dreaming all weird. Alright, well. Don't really want to go down there. <laughs> oh, there's a lantern right here. Okay, well that gives me a lot more confidence. In that case, let's just go back to the dream and spend our uh, echoes here. That would be super duper convenient. So we found a new area. Hemwick Arnold. I don't know if I want to be down here, though. Um. Hello? Where's the doll? Oh, 
Okay, that's the... Oh, there's the charnel lanes. That must be the first of a new area that, at least that I found. Um... So I need one more for that. We could pump that up, but I don't think I want to do that just yet. Memory altar again? Workshop tool is missing. Okay. Oh, hello. Welcome home. What is it? Didn't expect you to be up here. Very well. Let me. S hmm. That's for guns. That's for some kind of magic thing. Uh, do I want just more HP? I want to just hit harder. Let's get some more strength. Oh, we can buy a bunch of uh, stuff with our last ones here. Buy this bone marrow ash. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, I thought it was like a one-time thing. Okay. Buy as many of them as you want. Never mind then. A bunch of those. How does this bone, bone stuff work? Okay. I don't really know how it works. <laughs> I'm sure I'll. It's probably like something I use with a gun out, like uh, like fire paper. Yeah, that's what. Really... Wait, can I? It didn't actually. Okay, now I can use. Yep, that's what. It's like. Okay, so. Go back to the cathedral ward. We can still. Go the path I haven't explored yet. So let's take a run down there. Now that we found this. And look, Charnel Lane. Kind of want to go the other way. This place is so like twisty turny though. That was what I found if I went up, left from the boss door, right? How we ended up there. So let's go to the right again. See where that takes it. All the other two times I was down there, I ended up having to try and get my damn echoes. Oh, we got our new friends. Hello. So this must be one of the people. Oh, hello, dear. You won't lie. This is a safe place. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Curtsy, nice. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. All I can give is my blood. Your blood? Oh, so she, or, or at least that's her, how she refers to her. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, good. Come close, dear. Don't worry, this isn't the first time. <laughs> Out of Ariana. Her name is Ariana. Oh, hello. Sorry, dear. You're much too eager. Only so much blood, okay? Well, what does your blood do? Heals HP and temporarily boosts stamina recoveries. Blood restores HP. Member of the old healing church? Know that her blood is similar indeed to precisely what's forbidden. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wonder what that's. Or then what am I supposed to do with it? Is it just a consumable? What do you have anything to say? Yes. You don't know all my tricks. You barely even know me. Right, so told the other guy, but it doesn't look like he decided to come. So what about you? Are you new? Oh, thank you. So that lady, you told her about this place. Well, she she actually talks to me. Well, only now and then, and she don't mince words, but she's a kind one. I can tell. A good woman. <laughs> I'm still nervous about you, though. If you find any sane survivors, send them a knock to her. <laughs> sure will. But you still creep me out, little dude. Might be innocent, but I don't know. Okay, let's go this way. We're gonna head up. Up and up and up to the right. Take you out. Nice. Easy. 
also take you out, I see. Oh, looties. Oh, well. That's that person I could summon. Oh, this is kind of a shortcut. That's right. I can just go up and to the left. Get past you, just get past all that, just get past that guy. Go up the stairs and then go right. That is indeed handy dandy. I'm trying to build the map in my head. Not always easy to which paths to take. Hope I'm not like missing a really obvious um, lantern somewhere that would save me a whole bunch of time. Okay. So I'm still not gonna try fighting the shotgun guy. I'm gonna try running away from him. He's not too fond of me using that strategy. He loves to shoot at me. All right, so let's run by the axe guys as well. I imagine there's some way to jump down on top of that um, gunner. There has to be, right? Oh, there's a dog here. Oh no, it's just like a little item, dude. Alright, let's grab this, whatever it is, lead elixir. Probably a consumable, I would guess. Uh, this looks like a boss fight, and I don't really want it to be a boss fight. This looks like the kiln of the first flame, honestly. Um, I have a bad feeling about this. What's this lead elixir do? The medicine shifts weight to deflect attacks. Huh. Only materializes the most desperate nightmare. Shifts weight to make deflection of attacks eat. Oh, maybe for parries? I know, that's interesting. I have a feeling that when I try and open that door, something's gonna attack me. Let's try and open the door. Closed. Yep, how did I know? Whoa, 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 is this going to be one of those things where I get eaten? Oh, yep. Oh, whoa, I can kind of see something. Oh. Oh, and then I died this time. Oh. It do be like that. So, that was like a weird looking thing that was grabbing onto me there. So, I'm guessing... I don't know, honestly. I really don't know. I don't think I have a guess of what those things are. I found at least two of them. One in the graveyard, and then there's that one. So, yeah. Okay, so that was straight up to the right all the way at the bottom. But I guess I really have nowhere else to go aside from the, the boss fight, right? think I do but I mean I guess I could go down the path of uh, Hemwit's um, thing or whatever but I don't want to avoid this room forever I want to see what the, the heck is in here right oh that's not how I like to start this that feels bad right, well at least we can just pop a couple of these I probably shouldn't use two but oh well See what we're up against. Hello, boss fight. See this person. I hate fighting old bosses. Usually very challenging. Like she's praying. And a symbol and sounds like she's getting oh she's transforming oh yep he is transforming Ooh. that happens pretty darn fast This is looking like a scary boss. Ooh, a very scary boss. Alright. 
Vicar, Amelia. Oh, she seems kind of similar to the cleric beast. In a sense. Right. Hard to see with all the crazy, um... Like, stuff flying around her. She had like a weird backup. <laughs> Healing. Ah, scary. I wonder if I can hit her left hand or one hand that she seems to be holding something. Oh, yep, she's mad. She's like, yeah, she's got something precious in her left hand there. That was a bad time to power up. Gotta be careful. Seemed like a phase two, maybe. Oh, there we go. Well, that was a big attack. Oh man, this boss is scary. Alright, I'm kind of taking my time here. Being a little bit quieter. On the wrong side of her. Gotta be on the right side. Or left side. Right side from my perspective. Attacks are weaker from that side. Oh, what's this? Oh, she's healing herself. Yeah, she's got that thing in her hand that she uses to heal. It's definitely what it is. Oh. Nasty turnaround. That looks like a grab. Definitely a grab. Fill up again. Oh, I tried to dodge that and that was just a little bit too slow. Oh, we are in a lot of danger right now. Fight was going pretty good till it wasn't. Oh my god, this boss is actually kind of tough because of the way she heals herself. To get her out of this position. Get her over to me here. Oh, she's got a lunge. It's good to know. Okay, that was a lot of just smashing everything. Okay, this boss is not, not impossible. Very loud, very loud boss, but pretty, pretty doable. I think this boss can be beaten. Honestly, I feel a lot more confident about this boss than I feel about the Watchdog. So that's something. I'm thinking uh, we'll give it like one, one, maybe two more shots here. And then we will go ahead and call it an episode. And what I might do in between episodes, since we're starting to fight some enemies that are giving like a bit more echoes and a bit more of these uh, blood vials on drop, I might actually just farm some. Um, just because it's it's very handy to have the healing for, for learning. Like when you only have like one or two health bars, it's actually significantly harder to, to learn these things it feels like. It's just like, I'm not so bad with the watchdog in the dungeons and stuff, because you're literally right across from... You, know, you usually spawn like right outside the boss room almost. But when you have like a long run back with enemies and stuff, it's like, you screw up really bad. Alright, she's probably gonna jump at me, I think. Let's see what kind of... There we go. Oops. Being behind her is definitely the best place to be. Injure her hand, she gets pretty unhappy. And I bet you can, if you hit her there enough, I bet you can make her drop it. Yeah, see how she's like all 
Her hand like bled out or whatever. Oh, that's not good. Right, we'll pop our heels. Oh, didn't like that very much. I didn't like that very much either. It screams a lot, man. She's very, very, very loud. <laughs> I thought I was out of the way of that. Not quite. Trying to go to town on her a little bit. Oh, no, that's a death. And there's Smash. Man, she is brutal. This is a very, very doable fight. I feel like with a full stack of healing and just like the right focus, dodging the right attacks, in and out, brawling in the right ways, smacking that hand up. We can get this, get in especially when she starts healing. Because I feel like if you smash her really hard in the hands while she's healing, you can probably shut that down. Yeah, I think uh, since we're out of blood vials, we're going to call it an episode there. And uh, I'll do some little bit of farming. And we'll give her another shot in the next episode. So that was pretty fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.